Pantheon is an open source Ethereum client created by Pegasus under the Apache 2.0 license written in Java. This is a demo of Pantheon's quick start tutorial, which runs Ethereum nodes on a small private network in a Docker container. First, go to the Pegasus Pantheon repo on GitHub. Scroll down to the README, find the link for the Docker quick start, and follow that link to the tutorial doc. Under Clone Pantheon Source Code is a link to the installation section. This will tell you how to clone the Pantheon repository. Copy the git clone command given in the instructions and run it from a terminal window. Cloning might take a few minutes depending on your connection, so we'll skip ahead. Now the project is cloned. Before we run it, let's look at the available quick start commands. CD to the Pantheon directory and list the contents of quick start. There are three shell scripts. Run Pantheon private network, list quick start services, and remove Pantheon Private Network. Now you're ready to run Pantheon. To run the containers from the Pantheon directory, run quick start slash run Pantheon Private Network. This process also can take several minutes, so we'll skip most of it. The script uses Docker Compose to build the Docker images and run the nodes as containers in a private network. It simulates a network with enough peers to synchronize. On completion, the script lists the running services and then shows a summary of the entry points. JSON RPC via HTTP, JSON RPC via WebSockets, and Block Explorer. Click the Web Block Explorer address to run it in your web browser. The Block Explorer shows statistics and detailed block information. Click Block Numbers to view data for individual blocks, such as the address of the block's miner. Over time, you'll notice the block information updates as new blocks are mined. Also note that the balance of ether increases as new blocks are mined. In this case, three ether for each block mined. Now we'll run some RPC requests on the running nodes. Go back to the quick start tutorial, scroll down to run curl json rpc requests and copy the first command this runs the web3 client version method to request the node version paste the command in the terminal window make sure to append the http service endpoint to the command the example command from the doc uses a placeholder when you run this command, the node responds with JSON data containing the Pantheon version number in the result field. Return to the tutorial page to counting peers and copy the example command. This calls net peer count to pull the number of other nodes connected to the RPC node. Paste the command in the terminal window and again make sure to append the HTTP endpoint. When you run this command, the node responds with a result of six in hexadecimal format. On the tutorial page, go to requesting the most recent mined block number and copy the example command. This calls et block number to get the number of the most recently mined block. When you run this command, the node responds with a result of 0x2ea in hexadecimal or 746 in decimal. This means that 746 blocks have been mined. Now back to the tutorial page. In checking the miner account balance, copy the example command. Call eth get balance to retrieve the balance of the mining address defined in the miner node. When you run this command, the node responds with a result representing the account balance in hexadecimal. Now we'll prepare to send transactions. Return to the tutorial and scroll to additional requests. In this section, there are three accounts created in the genesis of this test network 
each with an address and a private key. To send transactions, you can use one of these accounts or create your own account beforehand. Because Pantheon currently doesn't provide account management in the API, you'll have to use a third-party tool such as MetaMask to create your own account. To set up MetaMask, go to the Block Explorer in your browser. In the upper right-hand corner of the Block Explorer, click the Install MetaMask button, or go to the MetaMask site and install the plugin from there. Click the Fox icon to access the MetaMask plugin, then log into MetaMask. In MetaMask Networks dropdown, select Custom RPC, copy the HTTP endpoint from the terminal, and paste it in Custom RPC. Now get the example private key for the mining node from account one in the tutorial. In MetaMask, open account one and select import account. In new account, paste the private key for account one and click import. The example account is imported as account two in MetaMask. Note the amount of ether in the account. Go to Settings and reset the account transactions. Now look at the information for the latest block. Click the block ID to see its details. Find and click the miner's address and view the address details. We see that the balance for this account is reflected in MetaMask. Note that you have to refresh the Block Explorer to see the latest values. Now let's send some ether. In MetaMask, click Send, from Account 2 to Account 1. We'll send 100 Ether, click Next, then Confirm. Return to the Block Explorer. View the latest block info. Click Transaction Hash to see transaction details. And here we see that the transaction transferred 100 Ether at a gas price of 1 GUE or gigaway. Open MetaMask, select account 1, and we see that it now contains 100 Ether. The PetCup tutorial takes you through the process of building ADAPT, an adoption tracking system for a pet shop. You can find the Pet Shop tutorial at truffleframework.com or in the Truffle Pet Shop tutorial section in the Docker Quick Start. We've already installed Truffle from NPM. Now unpack Truffle. Now install the wallet. Modify truffle.js to add the wallet provider. Replace the placeholder with the Quick Start's HTTP service endpoint. Open the adoption.solidity file and examine the smart contract. There are functions for getting the owner's ID, adopting a pet, and so on. Now we'll open the migration script deploycontracts.js and insert deployment code. Call Truffle Migrate to migrate the contract to the blockchain. You can see the migrations execute in order, followed by the blockchain address of each deployed contract. Now we'll test the smart contract. Open the testadoption.solidity file and add code to test each function that we defined in adoption.solidity. Run Truffle test. Each test executes and passes in order. Finally, we'll stop and remove the nodes in the network. In the console, run the command quick start slash remove Pantheon private network .sh and wait for all services to be stopped and removed. Then run the command docker ps a. Notice that no containers remain. For more information on Pantheon, visit these Pegasus sites on the web.